bugs everywhere. I will benefit it. So this is Jiva Doi. Shri Bhakti Thakur. He's written one song, beautiful song. So at the end, he's saying, <coughs> sing. Krishna Sansara Karo Charyana Cha Shiva Doi Krishna Nama Sarva Dharma Sa so this is the essence of all dharma, the essence of all auspicious activity, four things. Perform duties without attachment. Krishna samsara karma. And then charyana cha, give up all sinful activity. Anything that's tying us to this material world. Yes. Uh, and then jiva doi, mercy to jivas and Krishna nam. So this is the essence of uh, essence of dharma. Vivo. Vivo. Dharma, <clears throat> that word comes from the verbal root dri. It means that which sustains us and that which cannot be taken away. So what is this jiva doing? Prahlad Maharaj, he's Telling Nishinga Dev that I'm satisfied. I can chant your holy name and I'm in bliss. But I'm looking at these poor rascals. They're rotting here in the material world. Let me stay here and let them all go to the spiritual world. This is Jiva Doi. He didn't even say those who believe in me can go to the spiritual world. Anyone. Anyone can go. Vasudev Dat also. He's praying to Lord Chaitanya, please, let everyone go to the spiritual world. I will stay here. I will take all the karma. Lord Chaitanya could hardly stand. He was so overwhelmed. So what is that mood? It's a ras, Jiva Doi. It's not like an effort of will. Okay, I will. It's not like that. We can see by the example, our Gurudev, our Prabhupada, they're in ecstasy. Helping jivas. Ecstasy. Mm. I've seen a video of my Guru Maharaj. He's explaining, you know this body, not the mind, is an ecstasy. What's that about? So these great souls that as jivas become enlightened, as a like like his beautiful picture, right? Shumati Rai, gathering flowers. So anyone who's done any gardening, you know, you stick something in the ground, seeds, and then something comes up, you know, little green things come up through the earth. Like, Whoa, amazing. And then it grows, four leaves, eight leaves. And then after some time, you've got broccoli or cauliflowers or roses or whatever, whatever, whatever. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Any gardener, anyone who's actually done the gardening, it's ecstatic, actually. Mm. Wow, well done, well done. <laughs> Talk to them, stroke them, love them. So this is how, just like Gurudev said, pure devotee, he loves even one blade of grass. So they're loving to see, just like another example, child, uh, parents. First time the child, I remember when my daughter was, Born first time the child passes stool, it's like whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone who's been a parent knows what I'm talking about, otherwise, it's like whoa. <laughs> first time they, you know, open their eyes, or ma, 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 ma. It's ecstatic. I remember the first time she stood up, stood up. Fell down, stood up, fell down. Everyone's clapping. She's also laughing and clapping. So, to see the soul becoming more enlightened, more enlightened, growing up in, <clears throat> uh, like Gurudev said, a guru is millions of times more affectionate than the mother. So, even if we don't have Jiva Doi, we're practicing Krishna consciousness, chanting Hare Krishna, reading them, immersing ourselves in moods that Gurudev has given us. But just like my Guru Maharaj said, 
But if you help others to become Krishna conscious, if you turn even one, he's, he's pointing to one ant. He said, if you can just turn this one ant towards Krishna, then your whole life is successful. If we help even one soul to come to Krishna, to, he says, you'll become, you'll become recognized. Krishna will recognize you. So this... <laughs> Please excuse me, I, I have to leave just soon. No, 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 it's and good. So I'm just. So our Guru Varga, they're inviting us to taste this mood. Going out with books, chanting on the streets, all these things is beautiful. They're inviting us to taste this divine mood of raising, helping to raise Jeeves by their grace. What, what do we have? What ability do we have? But by their grace, we can go on the streets, we can chant Harinam, become enlivened, and we see that they're becoming enlivened, dancing, chanting, like uh, Maharaj is bringing so many people. Amazing power to bring people into Lord Chaitanya's family. If somebody's like just like like a little kid even, right? <laughs> They're all becoming part of Lord Chaitanya's family. This is a miracle. It's a miracle. It's a miracle for us to see. And if we can get some insight at how Lord Chaitanya, how Gurudev, Prabhupada, all our Guru Bhai, they're looking and saying, Oh, very nice, very nice. They're so happy. So happy to see. Oh. See the souls waking up. So happy. And gradually as we, you know, develop in Krishna consciousness, we can actually feel that happiness. Not just, yeah, I know Gurudev likes this. But actually we'll, we'll sense, we'll feel their satisfaction. And that gradually, this Jiva Dwaya, this mood, this Ras. So especially we remember how our Gurudev raised us so lovingly in so many ways, sometimes tricky, sometimes slap, sometimes laughing, sometimes giving loving words, sometimes chastising. So much love. How much ecstasy they're feeling in helping us to grow. And then gradually, gradually, we'll also develop this mood of ecstasy in helping other Jeeves to come. And there may be Jeeves in human bodies, Jeeves in bird bodies, whatever, whatever, whatever. But especially in human bodies, because they can understand to some extent, they can understand what we're talking about, and they go further, further, further. So this Jeev Doi, like Taku Bhakti, you know, they're saying, when will this Jeev Doi? Awaken in my heart. It's an ecstasy. It's an ecstatic mood. And they're inviting us to taste this mood more and more. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Kapi. 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 Thank you, you know who I am? <laughs> I know who you are, that's why I tell you, you can speak 15 more minutes. <laughs> You're getting too big for your boots. This is hip hop. Be careful, Maharaj and mine, we have the same socks. But I couldn't dance as much as he did. <laughs> take, take good care of me, Maharaj, give me your blessing, and speak a little more. <laughs> yes, man. Yes. Five minutes, more uh, minimum. Five minutes, minimum. Krishna Sansara Kara. Hariyana Cha. Jeeva Doi. Krishna Sansara Bhagavan. So we all have Krishna Sansar. Because
because we're, I'm, most of us here conditioned soil. I'm not pointing to anybody. <laughs> most of us are conditioned soil. Means we have some duties, some inevitable duties and tasks connected with his body, connected with his mind. Like just now there's a spate of people dying. Sorry. Can everyone move in a bit? We have a bunch more coming in. Vishwakarma made a beautiful assembly hall. No matter how many people there were, no one saw the space. An AC also. Radha Priya, Hare Krishna. Please come in, please come in, you're so welcome. So we all have duties and tasks connected with our and we have to take care of those things. We got these bodies. We have to take care of our bodies. Prabhupada said health comes first. If you're sickly, how are you concerned? So it's a very important principle that we take care of what supports us, take care of what nourishes us. Body is nourishing us. We can't live nicely without taking care of the body. So look after it. Relationships also. We can't, mostly, we can't live without relationships. Just like Prabhupada said, man is a, is a social animal. Actually, we get our identity in relationships. Sometimes we think relationship means, oh, this is a way of enjoying. Maybe it's something, I love this person, I love the way they walk, I love the way they talk. I love, you know, they give me so much, I, I, it's beautiful. But what is relationship actually? Love, what is love? Love means getting our higher quality of life by helping others to get their higher quality of life. This is love. It's like ideally, ideal parents with a child. And the child's not giving anything except nuisance. But they're loving to help the child come up. They love to help the child you know, become an adequate, loving human being, responsible human being. This is love. Oh, so relationships, they're not just for enjoying. Relationships actually are to help us to contribute because that's how we find our identity. In this consumer society, people are really confused, really confused. We think we should get more, get more, get more, get more. No. When we actually give as valued members of relationships and communities, according to our you know, talent, according to our capacity, according
according to our opportunities, then we find ourselves. People are freaking out, you know, identity crisis, who am I, who am I? Just get and help people. So, this is the original nature of the soul, is to give. Give in relationships, give in work according to our talent, give in life according to values, and give in our relationship with, with the divine, with Krishna. This is the actual nature, this is the ultimate axiomatic reality. <coughs> It's the original nature and purpose of life is to give of ourselves because when everyone is giving there's so much plenty the British and the Muslims they stole trillions of dollars from India India had a culture based on Dharma everyone was giving and there was abundance like we cannot imagine we can't imagine the abundance, the wealth of it so this is, this is our original nature, and um, as we fulfill that nature, as we find out, wow. You know, there's a lot of research now, they're finding that helping helps the helper more than the helped. Hmm. I'll say that again. Helping helps the helper more than the helped. So if we want to find ourselves, help people. And of course, this Sankirtan, Preaching, teaching, sharing, this is so much helping. And we become helped. If we can, just like my Guru Maharaj, he was talking about Varnashram College, he said if sannyasi teaches a shudra how to be shudra, it doesn't mean sannyasi becomes shudra. Mm -hmm. We help people according to their need, and Krishna will help us according to our need. If we're helping people to understand you're not this body, it's not just that Krishna will help us to understand that we're not the body. Whatever our need, he'll help us to fulfill. So this serving propensity, if we could just, not just understand, but gradually realize, yes, when we're sharing, we will actually become happy and fulfilled. And we'll become part of a culture that will be so nectarian, so positive, so helpful, so nourishing. Hare Krishna. When she called the Bishaki person in the village, put it down on the army. Pure voice, very pure. Excuse me, talking to you. No, no, very nice. Thank you. Okay. Is there anyone who wants to speak something? I bet Bambi. You want to hear that? Go ahead, Maharaj. Otherwise, it's going to get really late. Yeah. Uh, Ajanulam bita bujo kana kabata to sankirta ne kapita ro kana raya takshu Ishvambaro vijayo yugadama paru vinda jagatri akaro karanavata kana kajara dagato niranar hiniraj kana kajara dagato nirasanav janetro hiramar maas Vigamada 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 so first of all, I'd like to offer my unlimited for Sedana Vatranams. In the dust of the lotus feet of my spiritual masters, Nityarila Pravishnu Vishnu Parashi, Shima Shira Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj, Shira Bhagavad, Nityarila Pravishnu Vishnu Parashi, Shima Shira Bhagavad, Nityarila Pravishnu Vishnu Parashi, Nityarila Pravishnu Vishnu Parashi, Shima Shira Bhakti Vedanta Nanda Swami Maharaj, Shira Bhagavad, Nityarila Pravishnu Vishnu Parashi, Shima Shira Bhakti Vedanta Nanda Swami Maharaj, Shira Bhagavad, Nityarila Pravishnu Vishnu Parashi, Shima Shira Bhakti Vedanta Nanda Swami Maharaj, Shira Bhagavad, Nityarila Pravishnu Vishnu Parashi, Shima Shira Bhakti Vedanta Nanda Swami Maharaj, Shira Bhagavad, Nityarila Pravishnu Vishnu Parashi, Shima Shira Bhakti Vedanta Nanda Swami Maharaj, Shira Bhagavad, Nityarila Pravishnu Vishnu Parashi, Shima Shira Bhakti Vedanta Nanda Swami Maharaj, Shira Bhagavad, Nityarila Pravishnu Vishnu Parashi,
Shat Siddhanti Maharaj, please accept like, Madonna Vat Pranam, begging for your possessions. So, Maharaj was speaking about education. Then, when we come to spiritual life, we are like babies. We don't know much. But our mother, our gurus, they take us care of us like mothers and uh, they feed us, nourish us with their love and affection, their kind words, their sweet moods, they protect us, protect us. And uh, in this way we grew up slowly, slowly towards a higher level of understanding of life by their mercy and consciousness about also about the main subject matters of life which is love love so the baby doesn't love the mother so much because he doesn't know where this what is going on with the mother she's taking care of her of him but he's not so much aware of that you know but later on when he sees that she has sacrificed everything for him then he understand oh everything that i know my power which i have gathered by her association has given me so much so much uh, security in my life that i think i owe her everything so in the same way our spiritual masters they work like this also they give us everything we need from very beginning you know and they never stops helping us whether they have to say the same things thousands of times, they will sacrifice their life to for uh, making us understanding everything we need to understand for making progress in their line, you know. So this affection is there in our gurus, our guru parampara. Therefore, what Tivedanta Laman Goswami Maharaj used to say, he had many, many thousands of disciples. Huh? But he said, I am with no one and no one is with me. My only relationship is with my Guru Parampara. So this is our life is like that. We are with nobody because we are alone in this world. We are many friends, but those friends are related to us through the uh, activities of devotional service, not any other activities. There's no other friends outside of devotional service. And it's, even in devotional service, the real friendship starts in Nishta, Nishta Ruchi, because those who have no friend, no, uh, I say fixed, no fixed in bhakti, they cannot really help us. They will try. They will do everything they can. They will say, "Oh, Maharaj, I will bring this for you," but you can wait sometimes, many, many days. It will not come. But those who are nishta and they are brahmanical culture, they are more advanced and they have faith in this process. So therefore, they are ready to die to please the devotees. So therefore. When they say something, they will do it, you know. So our gurus are uh, giving us so much. Of all, uh, like uh, Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati who used to say, we are ready to give galleons and galleons of spiritual blood to serve someone, so to serve, save someone, you know. So those gurus, the Guru Varga are like that, all like that. They have explained the process of Bhakti uh, Yoga in such a way that it is so deep that there is no place for us to escape. We can go deep into those processes that have been given by them to let lotus mounts. Lotus means beyond this world. So beyond this world is called Shadravama. Shadravama is eternal. It cannot disappear. So whatever has been heard and said many, many thousands of years before even is still there present. You can just catch it <coughs> by being in, in touch with that uh, Karikata. Parikata is te not temporary, it is eternal and it is there for our welfare. We can catch Arikata whenever we need, whatever we need. We can have it and we can uh, keep it in our heart and make that process of Shabda Brahma produce uh, the fruit of that process. This is the Vikriditam Vajabadu Viridam Shavishnu Shadan Vitu Nishuniyada Dagvana Yogya. That is that. From uh, it's from the beginning we are under the guidance of Guru, and uh, listening for uh, from his lotus lips uh, from beyond this world, the unprecedented rasadans of Krishna with the gopis. Then the pro and as we hear, we keep it for sometimes in our heart. This is very important 
not to repeat like a radio, which has its importance also. But later on, that can be done. When we hear something which is very valuable, very deep, very, very powerful, very strong, uh, strong and very spiritual, transcendental, we have to keep it something in our heart because it will have some effects that, in that place. It will leave some uh, impressions, you know. And that impression is very, very strong. It will remove what is our enemy which is living in that place. It is called lust. It will remove this lust forever when we reproduce that uh, harikata that we heard from the lips of our Gurudev, speaking about this impressionant rasa dance of Krishna with the gopis of Vrindavan, when we repeat this with our own poetry, this will have for effect to remove lust and forever from our world. And what will come in our heart? The same mood, the rasic mood that, that our Gurudev has in his own heart. It will replace that lust. So the gain is unlimited. You know, we are not getting, we are not losing anything. Uh, the rate is very, very high. You know, sometimes when we come into this world, we expect something very, very nice to get some happiness, some joy, and some uh, sense gratification. But we see that when we involve in those activities, we lose the rate. We 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 we've been told about gold, but we are getting higher one, especially in Kali Yuga. But in spiritual life, it's the, just the opposite. We don't know what we are getting, but when, when we become aware of the value of the things that we are getting from our Guru Aga, then we realize they're gold, giving gold, diamonds, more than that, you know? They're giving things which are not from this world. Like there was a Brahmana, he wanted to get married his daughter. He approached Lord Shiva, he made some, some how do you call Sacrifice. Sacrifice or austerities. And Shiva came and said, what do you want? He said, I need money, I want to marry my daughter. Lord Shiva said, you go and see one sadhu, he's living there next to the Yamuna. His name is Sanatan Goswami. So he went to see Sanatan Goswami, and then he asked that Goswami, Sanatan, please, can you give me some gold? I need some money, I need to marry my daughter. Sanatan Goswami said, I don't have anything to give you, to offer you. See, I have nothing. He was just chanting Hare Krishna near the Yamuna. And then the uh, Brahmana said that Lord Shiva cannot make any mistake. So he must have something. So he asked Lord Shiva again, can you give me whatever value, valuable things you have? And Lord Shiva said, oh, now you remind me. Sanatana Goswami said, now you remind me that I have a special that once a uh, very, very uh, powerful stone, touchstone. touchstone, which can make everything with touch into gold, transform into gold. So where it is, it is there at the roots of some trees. You just move a little bit of the grass and then you will find it. So he did that and he found this uh, touchstone and then he saw that touchstone has so much power. Whatever was touching became gold. And he said, oh, wow, amazing. He was touching every everything, every pieces of metal and everything became gold, you know. But he was a Brahmana and usually Brahmana, they have some intelligence and they're supposed to represent the head of the society. So, you think, if he gave me this, which he has completely rejected, without second thought, then it must be that he has something more than that. And I am very, very greedy for that. I want to know. So he went and came back to Sanatana Goswami and said, you must have something more than that. Sanatana Goswami was thinking, yes, yes, I have something more than that. But if you want to have it, you have to throw this uh, touchstone in the Yamuna. So he didn't speculate, he threw the touchstone, then he turned to Sanatan Goswami, and Sanatan Goswami gave him what he had of the most valuable thing. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Why this is the most valuable thing? Why? Because you see, when you chant Hare Krishna, you all, even after millions of years of chanting, since you start chanting again, you become very happy. <laughs> so we've been happy now for the last three hours, <laughs> and now we're gonna go on and be, be happy again for the mo for the next three hours. Yeah? So this uh, Maha Mantra has everything inside. Everything for our uh, complete uh, fulfillment is there in this Maha Mantra. Yeah? Maha Mantra also is very very uh, arranging for everybody. But this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra actually 
can allow us to associate with whatever Krishna we want. There's many Krishna, you know, there's Gopal, Govinda, Upishana Balabha, Krishna, every, everyone has a different, different uh, goals and uh, rasa in those different types of, of Krishna are different rasas, like, like Ram, like Nishingadev. But this Mahamanta has the power to let, to, to give us the capacity to associate with what, whoever Krishna we want. If you want to, and very, very important, Gurudev said, this Gopi Janavalava, in this uh, Gopal Mantra is very, very important. This name is very important because it is related to the love of the Gopis. The beloved of Krishna, of Gopis, is called Gopi Janavalava. So we have to associate with this Krishna because this Krishna is the one who is expecting the most, uh, most, expo the, the, the most uh, uh, expensive, uh, valuable uh, ecstasy in his activities of uh, Lila, in the Rasa Lila with the Gopis and Radharani. This is the, the Krishna which can uh, give us also the most valuable uh, ecstasy if we associate with this name. And that name being non different than himself, then it is easy to have this relationship and feel the fruits of that relationship. So, I am now, now 70 years old, you know, getting a little on, uh, older, and I have heard so many general things all my life, and, and I, don't need, I don't need to say that I remember everything, but at that time, at that time of my age now, I feel that we have to go deeper, especially those senior devotees, they, they have to go a little deeper to understand which is what is the, the real goal of life, which Sorry. has come down Can from... Can everyone squeeze in? We have more people. Oh, oh. Uh -huh. yeah, there's more space. Can everyone hear? Yeah. 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 Happy <laughs> outside, Yeah. Everybody's happy. Yes. Comfortable, yes. <laughs> so our Guru Shri Narayan Goswami Maharaj, he has written many books. One of the books he has written is called It Govinda. If you read these books, you will never be the same. <laughs> It Govinda. Eh? Shri Narayan Goswami Maharaj. Jayadev Goswami. He wrote that very nice book. It's very deep. It's dealing about uh, union and separation, especially uh, of Radha and Krishna. And uh, there's one chapter, act number four. It's like uh, presenting the uh, whole uh, moods of the whole book. And this chapter, you can read it, you can repeat it daily, daily, daily. According to Jadav Goswami, it will give so much, so much uh, benefit. And in this chapter, Shimati, uh, Shimati Radharani, she's sending one duty, that is one messenger to Krishna, to tell Krishna about her condition in separation from him. So the duty, this messenger, she's telling Krishna that the sandalwood, which has been put in her, head, in her body to cool down her separation mood, is feeling like poison. It's like drying herself and she ha he has no power. So what Srimati Radharani is thinking is that she's defaming the sandalwood. Sandalwood always makes things very cool. You know? mm -hmm. That's why we put sandalwood on our face. But this sandalwood, in the case of separation mood of Srimati Radharani, is burning her skin. You know? And then she's saying also that the breeze is coming from Malayan mountains, where there are snakes coiling around that uh, trees is also like poisoning us, poisoning, burning our body, you know. And also the rays of the moon 
also, which are supposed to give some relief of uh, freshness, is also burning her body. So she lies on a, on a bed of flowers, which are supposed to be very, very soft, you know. But this bed of flowers is feeling like arrows of shaft, shaft of arrows from cupids, you know. Mm. So this mood is there in her permanently when she's in separation from Krishna. And when she is in separation from Krishna, she cannot think about anything else. She, there's, there, Maya cannot exist in that world. It's very, very deep. She cannot never come out from that. You know? And so she's thinking about how will I make Krishna come into my heart. And if for this purpose, she's drawing a makara. You know what makara? It's like this fish, uh, fish which looks like a dolphin or crocodile in between two and uh, it is the uh, emblem of Cupid which he has on his uh, flag mm. so she's uh, making a makara and she putting not Cupid but she putting Krishna on that makara because only he can relieve her from her separation mood you know? so she thinking Krishna like this and she drawing this uh, portrait of Krishna on that makara in front of her in wherever she's sitting in the kunjas and she is praying to that picture that I want to surrender to you. Please don't leave me alone. Please come in my heart. Relieve me from the shaft of that cupid which is burning my heart. And because Krishna is also always in her heart, she wants to protect him from that same shafts. So she is creating an uh, like a kavacha made of lotus lotus leaves full of drops of water to cool down the things, you know. But even those lotus leaves makes her feel so, so, so hot, so hot, you know. So in this way, she's crying in separation from Krishna. And Krishna is hearing all these things from the messenger, which is a perfect messenger. She can speak about what the moods of Srimati Radha. When she sees Radharani's uh, doing something or saying anything, they understand exactly what mood they ha she has. And she, they can know exactly what to say to Krishna in order to uh, move his heart towards Radharani and meet her. So if you read these books, this is only one little chapter, you know, like three, four pages. You will amazingly understand something very, very, very beautiful, very deep. You know? So these books is full of those uh, moods which are there in Krishna's also separation mood. So we have to understand these things. You know, one time Gurudev said, are you not going to know what is going on in Radha Kund all your life? Are you not going to know what is going on there? Are you going to be uh, ignorant of these things? You know, you have to know all these things also, one day or another. So life is there for us and time is there in front of us that we should get into these deep things and understand what is really going on because where there is uh, uh, rasa, where there is ecstasy, Krishna is there. And where there is the highest ecstasy, the Madana Kama Bhava Shrimati Radhani, Krishna is always testing this. So we should go there also, somehow other, somehow other. And we should know, trying to get closer and closer day by day, by the mercy of our Guru Dev, or our Guru Parampara wants us to go and understand these things very easily. It's not so bad, you know. It's not so bad, you know, only if you have not been trained up in Krishna consciousness or you are like, you know, things, things in a very lusty way that it looks like we, what they do in this material world, then it's not going to work out. But those things are explained in a very, very beautiful way, transcendental ways in the books of our Acharya. So we should try to get there and understand a little bit. This little bit will make our life successful. Very, very, we become very, very happy. And then we will become also very much uh, secure from, and protected from this material energy. Because we will balance the uh, uh, value of these things and we understand that it is so much, so much valuable that nothing can be compared to that and we can give up everything else and get, and get this fully. So I don't know if I could convey anything about these things. but. I feel that 70 years old now, I have no time to do anything else, so I'm trying slowly and humbly to, to do these things, you know, to understand these things and convey the same mood message to about that. So, 
is upset. I don't know how to pronounce and uh, hoping that uh, I have not hurt anyone. And thank you very much. Once I have to set the pass and we will do it again. Uh, can I know can you have the keys? <laughs> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare. Krishna, Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama
जय श्री गुरु महाराज की अपने अपने गुरु महाराज की जगत गुरु श्री प्रभुपाद की सगोष्ठी सपरी कर श्री प्रभुपाद की रूपानुग गुरु वर्ग की पूज्य पाद परम परम पूज्य पाद स्वामी भक्ति वेदांत श्रोति महाराज की पूज्य पाद स्वामी भक्ति वेदांत निमी महाराज की जय जय सुंदर आनंद प्रभु की और डिवोटीज की बहुत प्रेमानंदे रियली वी आर सो फॉर्चुनेट दैट वी हैव एसोसिएट सेन विथ पूज्य पा सोती महाराज निमी महाराज दे टोल्ड वेरी नाइस थिंग्स फॉर आवर लाइफ जस्ट वी हैव टू फॉलो एंड वी विल गेट बेनिफिट एंड आई आस्कड हियर Uh, to Sundaranand Prabhu, uh, what uh, should uh, topic be there today to speak? He said me that you have to speak about Krishna Prema. Mm -hmm. What is Krishna Prema? <coughs> Prema means uh, we, we know these things. Prema means say, love, but uh, love to material thing. And love to Krishna. What is Krishna Prema? Love to Krishna. What is this? There are different topics about this. What is Krishna Prema? How to get Krishna Prema? When when someone in Krishna Prema, how he feeling? And how are the symptoms of a person who is in Krishna Prema? There are many things, but we have not so much time to discuss everything. Just I think. When he said two topic from Chaitanya Bhagavat and Chaitanya Charitamrita came to in my mind. How Krishna Prema is example of two persons Krishna Prema. <coughs> We know all our devotee. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was doing Harinam Sankirtan inside the Srivas Pandit house. And uh, no many people are allowed to enter there. Just some uh, those Chaitanya Mahaprabhu like he per get per uh, get permission to come. They only can enter there. Every night Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, daytime we are doing sankirtan, night time we is going west by sleeping only. So whole night also we have to do sankirtan. बिकास संकीर्तन गोलोकर प्रेमधान हरिनाम संकीर्तन प्रेमधान द कृष्णा प्रेम में सिवाते हरिनाम संकीर्तन इधर कृष्णा प्रेम वान कैन नॉट रेलिस कृष्णा प्रेम इफ ही डोंट सदू संकीर्तन संकीर्तन इधर वे इन विच इन थ्रू वी कैन रेलिस सी कृष्णा प्रेम नर्तन दस्ता कुछ सिंह दर्शा है गोलोकर प्रेमधान हरिनाम संकीर्तन रति ना जन्मी लो के नेता है इफ वी हैव नो रति इन कृष्ण नाम संकीर्तन हाउ कैन वी गेट कृष्ण प्रेम सो इट इज नेसेसरी टू संकीर्तन सो चैतन्य महाप्रभु वाज डूइंग संकीर्तन इनसाइड द श्रीवास पंडित हाउस देयर आर मेनी स्टोरीज बट वन स्टोरी आई कैन टेल दैट वन डे चैतन्य प्रभु महाप्रभु वाज डांसिंग एंड ऑल द डिवोटीज They were someone is playing murdanga, someone is making uh, uh, clapping, someone is uh, playing kartal, etc. And they encouraging always, always their mood to encourage Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to dance, and he should come in Krishna Prema because he was the now separation of as Radha Rani was in Krishna Prema when Krishna uh, came to Mathura. How the Radha Rani was separation mood, the same mood now Chaitanya Mahaprabhu through Sankirtan releasing. In the meantime, what happened? Sri Bas Pandit only one son. He had no two son or daughter or something. Only he had one son. That son died. So the wife of Nalin, wife of Sri Bas Pandit, Marini Devi, started to cry. And what happened? Uh, immediate came Sivas Pandit to inside house because the house was like this. Like this is the there is a baranda in the baranda. 
what four sided house like the house like that so inside house mahaprabhu was doing sankirtan in the bar, what you said courtyard courtyard in courtyard he was doing he came inside asked what happened why were you crying he said she said you know your son died so i am very happy i am very sorry suffering for the separation from son i am crying sribas pandit said oh for this reason you are crying you are so foolish <laughs> her name was malini devi malini so you are so foolish you know i am so happy for this because i pray then this day will come my supreme lord sri chaitanya mahaprabhu he is doing sankirtan himself he is chanting krishna name also his name and my son listen this names and left body how so he fortunate we have to dance we have to smile you have to laugh you are crying malin devi said you know among all the world there is one thing very pain to the person in front of parents if the children die this is the main very big sorrow to the parents person so how can i tolerate this thing i have a so attachment to my son only one son he was so nice son how can i tolerate you can tolerate what i can do i will cry i cannot stop my cry sribas pandi said if you cry loudly now i will go to jump jamuna i will tie one stone on my neck and jump to jamuna because i i need the please pleasure of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu krishna this is called krishna prema what is krishna prema means pleasure to give a pleasure to krishna is krishna prema even if his son died is a big big problem still shrivas pandu is thinking how can i please my god how can i please chaitanya mahaprabhu that is the prema now कृष्ण सकल अशांत कृष्ण भक्त निष्काम अतएव शांत ओनली कृष्ण भक्त हे प्रेम नो अदर फॉर ज्ञानी जोगी अदर दे हैव नो प्रेम दोस नीड समथिंग फ्रॉम कृष्ण देस दे आर सेल्फिश दे आर जस्ट सम मटेरियल डिजायर्स दे आर कैन नॉट गेट ए कृष्ण प्रेम भक्ति मुक्ति सृहा जावत आछय हृदय तावत कृष्ण प्रेम न सुषे चैतन्य महाप्रभु से रूप गोस्वामी कृष्ण प्रेम हाउ कैन यू गेट जावत अप टू इफ वी हैव समथिंग डिजायर टू एंजॉय सेंस टू एंजॉय इफ वी हैव सम डिजायर टू बी लिबरेट हाउ कैन यू गेट कृष्ण प्रेम इंपॉसिबल कैन नॉट टच यू कृष्ण प्रेम दिस इज द श्रीवास पंडित कृष्ण वाज कृष्ण प्रेम चैतन्य महा ही वाज लॉ ही वाज थिंकिंग हाउ टू प्लीज माय इवन इफ माय सन डाय बट आई नीड pleasure of my lord sri chaitanya mahaprabhu that's other question this is question my name thought what can i do now my son died if i cry loudly my husband is going to suicide in ganga it better i not cry cry so see stop this loudly cry but inside cry and chaitanya mahaprabhu came i sorry sri vas pandit came in this matter chaitanya mahaprabhu did not know he was dancing and dancing with the devotees there um, song, doing sankirtan after two and half an hour like adhi uh, prahar adhi prahar means after seven hour after more than seven uh, uh, one prahar means three hour adhi prahar means uh, two prahar and half means six seven point three 30 30 means seven hour 30 minute after seven hour 30 minute chaitanya mahaprabhu asked What happened? I don't feel something good. Something happened here. Sibas Pandit said, "No, no, nothing happened. Oh my Lord, please you chant, chant, please dance. We need it." But Mahaprabhu said, "No, I don't feel something good. Something happened here, maybe." So other devotees say they knew this thing. They told you know, Sibas Pandit Shon died two or he prayed before me seven point five. 30 minutes before he died oh my god 
after seven point thirty hours drive, not you did not did not inform me how you are a father. I am doing sankirtan here. You should tell me. Go 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 go. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came. That boy. Oh boy, why you died? Get up, get up. <laughs> This boy was died, and he wake up. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked, "What happened? Why you left the body?" Ah, you know you are so fortunate. Is Krish Sri Bas Pandit is a great devotee, and you born as a son of him. Why you left the body? Your it was not good. It is not good. <laughs> <laughs> This boy, what is it? Ke kar pita prabhu, ke kar nandan. Sabey apna ara karma karo e bhunjan. Yes, prabhu come. This boy said, "Ke kahar pita prabhu, ke kahar nandan. Sabey apna ara karma kore bhunjan. In this world, who is father, who is son? Just they came as a son according to thy their karma. How much day I had to be the son of Sri Bas Pandit? I did. Now my my uh, period finished." Now I will go to born in another place, but please, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, I know you are supreme Lord. I am very separation from you also to live the association. But what can I do? You are the controller of everything. I have to live. This is the your. It is not your plan. It is my karma. I have to live this place. But I am requesting you, even if I born in any other place, any village or any spa, any species, please you allow me. How can I remember you? How can I chant your name? How can I release your past times? This side. So this is the one example of a Krishna prema. How Sri Bas Pandit had. Another, I will take ten minutes. May may be more. Yes, take this much. Okay, just because this is a very interesting story. Another story also. Just within ten minutes, I will finish. Uh, uh, you know, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was living in Puri, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was living in Puri. <coughs> Some the Bengal devotees they were coming in Puri, and they stayed there four months. They are living four months, like uh, they will come July, August, September, October, four months up to Kartik month. They were living there. They return. After they return, because when the Bengal devotees are coming every day, they are inviting Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to house for prasad. But after they went, there is some devotees in Sri Ketra Puri. They are dividing uh, two days, three days. I will invite two days. Another devotee will invite three days. Like this, they are dividing. Once, Advait, uh, sorry, I am wrong. Sarvo Mata Charjyo. Sarvabhuma Bhattacharya said to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, "I want to invite you for like a 15 days. You allow me." Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, "It is not a rule of a sannyasi. Uh, 15 days will go one house and eat. Sannyasi have to bhikkhya in different places. If you one place means attachment will come. So go to different place. So I cannot accept your 15 days invitation." Then can you invite us a little like ten days? No, seven days? No. So then, at very hardly, he told three days or five days. I forget now that actual date. He told this date suddenly accept. So one day, Chaitanya Mahap he invited to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and when he invited Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they made for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu another room. To give food, and he and his wife, both they made like a one hundred eight items preparations, different types of preparations, and rice like mountain, <laughs> because two uh, four five banana leaves on that banana leaves or like a mountain of uh, rice and uh, many preparations. Then the Sarabhat um, said, "Please sit here to sit." So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, "I am a sannyasi. You know or don't know? Sannyasi should not eat much. 
he to he he should eat little bit and it is for uh, sanyasi it is like a uh, 10 15 people will eat so why you are doing like this no no you have to eat like this <coughs> sarvachar said no i cannot eat <coughs> sarvachar said is in this in sri mandir in a mandir how many times you are eating from morning to night many so much rice you are eating according to that it is one grass only one, one grass means just you take once in eat finish when giri govardhan puja was there you ate how much <laughs> lot of things you ate what is what is comparing with that it is what is this so please my lord it is my request you eat everything now so then <laughs> abru uh, Uh, defeated by the love of uh, Sarangar Chajjo, and he <coughs> sit to eat. And he he was eating Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. All things he was eating. At that time, what happened? Uh, Sarangar Chajjo had one daughter. Her name was Sati. Sati. And her husband, uh, he came to that time to visit the house. So what is going on on a whole? He was looking. <laughs> On the he saw, oh my God! The sonia city is too much. What is this sonia city? Very bad sonia city. <laughs> Then when they listen, he told, he shouted because he was become very astonished. And he told uh, something came out from mouth. So the listen, Sharan Bhujar Jo, he came out to see. When he came to see the sati's husband, he ran away. And Sarang Bhujar Jo, you could, you stay. I will kill you. You are uh, you are uh, criticizing to my Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Who told you to see these things? Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu like no, I will not eat any anymore now. I will go return. Sarang Bhujar said, I am very sorry that uh, I I brought you to critic to get to get only criticize only. Now I will go to suicide now. And the mother, the Sarang Bhujar is. Um, Wife said, "My my daughter should be widow now. My daughter should be now widow because who come who criticized Chaitanya so Mahaprabhu? He should die even if my daughter be widow. But I need to kill that person. This is the Krishna Prabhu. Even if the daughter will be widow, but I need now because why criticize Chaitanya so Mahaprabhu? I want to to be die to see you die." I don't need any more to see you. Yes, I don't like you. <laughs> then he but he ran away. When he ran away, he went to one place. Then uh, as he criticized it to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, some disease came him like diarrhea. By that diarrhea, he was going to die. After three days, someone said to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, "You know, the Sathi's husband, Sarangvarcha's doctor, means Sarangvarcha's son-in-law." Sonilo is going to die. <coughs> so Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to that person and told, and sit Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and touched the heart and told, "Why this? And yes, you are a Brahmin person. In a Brahmin person, how this envious came Chandala? This touched you. It is not good. Then he realized, yes, I am very sorry for my criticize. Please excuse me. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu excused him." And he died. So the my point of view is that that is the Krishna prema. Even if he, even if Sarangar Chajjo and the daughter, the wife, they said here, even if my daughter's husband die, even if my daughter will widow, but I we need to see his see he should die, because the law they have law to change the law. That is the Krishna prema. we can live we can we can live our body we can live our family we can live our everything just for pleasure of supreme lord whatever we are doing for pleasure of god that is the prem if something we are doing for god also and we have some desire like for money or for material things or something That is not Krishna Prema. Even if we are chanting sixty-four rounds, even if we are chanting, serving many things, but if we have little desire also inside, we cannot touch Krishna Prema. To need Krishna Prema, we need 
free from desire for material things and for liberation but it is very critical very difficult to have like this need only the blessing of guru and vishnu and sankirtan we have to do sankirtan and blessing of guru and vishnu. then only we can enter in krishna prema hari krishna bro chitra not at 20 minutes how can how can we get it thank you thank you how how can we get blessing of guru and vishnu <coughs> yes one very nice question this krishna uh, mahat krupa vina krishna kabhu krishna prema kabhu nahi hoy mahat krupa vina kabhu krishna prema nahi hoy krishna prema dure rahu sansar na he kyoy in chaitanya charita marta it is mentioned mahat krupa vina krishna prema kabhu nahi hoy Krishna Prema, if you do practice and practice and practice, chant and chant and hold day and night, you cannot get Krishna Prema. Krishna Prema is the blessing thing only. Mahat Krupa Bina Krishna Prema Kabhu Naiya. Never impossible to get Krishna Prema without the blessing of Guru and Mahat Purusha. Are, what to say about Krishna Prema? You cannot free from attachment from material things. Cannot leave from say, samsara will not your destroy. What to say about Krishna Prema? So how can we get blessing from Guru and Vaishnavas? Mahat, who is Mahat? Mahat Prakrupa Vina Krishna Prema Nai Vaar. Mahat, who is always engaged in his all senses for the Krishna consciousness, for the pleasure of Krishna, he is the Mahat Prakrupa. Also, Rahu Gana said, uh, Gaur, Bharat Maharaj said to Rahu Gana, Rahu Gana Tatta Pasha Na Jati Na Che Jaya Nirva Panat Guru Hatma Na Chanda Sa Naiva Jala Agni Surjai Bina Mahat Pado Raju Visekam Bina Mahat Pado Raju Visekam Without to Taking the food dust of Mahat Purusha, Sadhus, Guru and Vaishnavas, one cannot be realized soul, what to say about Prema. So the point is, Hare Krishna Prabhu asked, how we will get blessing from Guru and Vaishnava? To get a blessing from Guru and Vaishnava is very simple and very hard. <laughs> If we become simple heart, It is very easy. If we became always doubt, always say, oh, it is like this, oh, it is like this, maybe it is not good. <laughs> we cannot do. How much we will simple, how much the, the Vaishnavata, Saralaka is Vaishnavata. Our Guru Maharaj always telling this one. Saralaka is Vaishnavata. Saralaka means simple. Simplicity. Simplicity is the Saralaka. Saralaka is Vaishnavata. First, we have to learn Vaishnavata. We have to be Vaishnava. Vaishnava, uh, Prabhupada said, Vaishnavi Pratishtha Tate Karanishtha. Vaishnavi Pratishtha Tate Karanishtha. Means I am Vaishnava. Means my duty should be humble. I am Vaishnava. Who are you? I am Vaishnava. I am devotee. Oh, I, I have to pra practice what are the devotee's qualities I have or not. But I am a uh, telling to everyone oh i am a devotee but what is your what is your, your qualities of devotee but i have no any qualities <laughs> but that's why we have to realize we have to think this qualities now i have little qualities i have no qualities not like this i have some qualities but i need the complete uh, shrimad bhagavad gita 12 chapter from uh, uh, 30, 8 eight verses they are from 13 to Uh, 20 verses there are the symptoms for a mahat sadhu who is mahat sadhu who is the krishna who is mahat priya arjuna uh, asked who is your lovely priya mahat purusha krishna said do these symptoms if someone have then he is the mahat purusha so especially if we are not mahat we cannot know mahat understand 
गुणी चिन्ह गुणिया गुणी चिन्ह गुणिया सुनारी चिन्ह सुना अंडरस्टैंड नॉट अंडरस्टैंड इफ यू आर नॉट महापुरुष देन यू कैन नॉट टेल ओ दिस इज महापुरुष यू कैन नॉट ऑन यू कैन नॉट रिकॉग्नाइज यू कैन नॉट रिकॉग्नाइज सुनारी चिन्ह सुना दो हजार जीएल शॉप पर दो हजार जीएल शॉप पर दे कैन नो इट इज गोल्ड और नॉट गोल्ड दे कैन दे कैन नो बट इफ समान ब्रिंग सम गोल्ड टू मी एंड रोल्ड गोल्ड और समथिंग प्यूर गोल्ड आई कैन नॉट डिस्टिंग्विज व्हाट इज रोल्ड गोल्ड व्हाट इज द प्यूर गोल्ड मे बी आई विल टेल द रोल्ड गोल्ड लुक्स वेरी नाइस इट इज द गोल्ड सिमिलरली so it is mentioned also if we will not be a good devotee we cannot uh, recognize a good devotee you know godadhar pandit also could not able to recognize it pundari kavi janate he is a great devotee could not able to godadhar pandit could not able to recognize to pundari kavi how can we understand so the very simple thing is just we surrender to all vaishnava we don't should not be calculate he is a good devotee and he is a very best very good devotees i only uh, pray him for to him not like this everyone is devotee if we are not able to recognize another thing not recognize you don't criticize to other it is very it, it is a very hard if we do little mistake to vaishnavas we cannot be get question little opera sukma opera i can give one example then we can understand i am not a, i i am not sure i am also not doing i am also doing aparad i am also criticizing others because as we know the rules you have to listen one thing very important thing how it is very subtle aparad that's why we are vanchita from krishna we know prahlad maharaj Pralad Maharaj was able to see Krishna everywhere, and also he saw Krishna Nushinga Bhagavan in a pillar. Correct. One day, after after Hiranyakashipu died and he was king, Pralad Maharaj, after many years, one day Narada Muni came to Pralad Maharaj. At that time. Pralad Maharaj was worshiping to Nursinga Dev and was singing one song. Ito Nursinga, paro to Nursinga, jato jato jami ito to Nursinga, bohi Nursinga, urudhai Nursinga, Nursinga madhi sarana. You know this meaning. What is the meaning of this? Ito Nursinga, paro to Nursinga. Here is Nursinga, there is Nursinga. जतो जतो जामी तो भेरे भेरे आई गो देयर इज नरसिंह बहिर नरसिंह हृदय नरसिंह आउटसाइड माय बॉडी आउटसाइड माय आई एंड आल्सो इनसाइड आल्सो नरसिंह सो आई एम सरेंडर टू नरसिंह एंड नारद केम देयर ही इज सेटिंग हियर नारद केम आउटसाइड द गेट बिकॉज़ द किंग नाउ कैन नॉट एंटर नारद आल्सो देयर सो नारद टोल्ड टू द गेट कीपर Can you inform to my disciple Pralad Maharaj? I arrived. So the um, gatekeeper came and told you know your Guru Dev Narada Muni came. Uh, what can I do? Pralad Maharaj said now just is going to finish within one two minute uh, my puja and you tell to my Guru Dev you can you give a very nice chair and <coughs> give water and etc. I am coming just. But you know Pralad Maharaj was in half in half mood. He was thinking that I would, it will finish in one minute, two minute. It became like half an hour or more than half an hour. So Narada told, "Okay, my disciple is very immersed in the worship of Lord. I have many work to do. I can go and later I come." So Narada waited sometimes. Then he went. Pralad came. Pralad Maharaj came outside. Guru Dev was not there. Then after some time, Guru Dev came. He served him. So this became one offense of Pralat Maharaj to Guru Dev. Guru Dev came and said, "What is Krishna? He, he, uh, everything have to leave and come to greet Guru Dev." 
सो ड्यू टू अपराध ड्यू टू प्रहलाद से अपराध प्रहलाद से माइंड चेंज यू नो माइंड इज ऑटोमेटिक चेंजिंग ड्यू टू अपराध ड्यू टू भजन आल्सो व्हेन बिकम अपराध द ऑपोजिट माइंड इज कमिंग ऑटोमेटिकली क्रिएट यू थिंक ओ दे आर वेरी यस वेरी बैड पर्सन ही इज वेरी बैड पर्सन ही इज नॉट अ गुड डिवोट ऑलवेज यू फील लाइक दिस बिकॉज़ ऑफ अपराध व्हेन देयर इज नो अपराध टू यू सी एवरी ओ सो नाइस डिवोटी ओ सो नाइस डिवोटी यू थिंक लाइक दिस सो प्रहलाद मार से ओ Vishnu is so bad, you know. Automatic change in mind. Vishnu is so bad. He killed my uncle. He killed my father. I will not live now. He. <laughs> Due to why? Aparad. Due to Guru Aparad, mind changed. I am a demon. I am a I am a son of demon. I have to give give respect of demon. Always Vishnu is. A, Uh, killing our demonic uh, peoples and our demon uh, dynasty so i have to fight with him now vishnu where is vishnu now <laughs> now he is in uh, naranarayana in badrina now i will go to fight with him <laughs> and he came with a, like a, like a fighter dressed as a fighter and with a horse and he came fight to nor with naranarayana krishna said oh my god what happened to prahlad <laughs> he is coming to fight with me now <laughs> i have to bless him his mind is so bad now so nara narayan bhat they did they came as a uh, he came as a like a old man he appeared in the in the on the way of prolad maharaj as a old man old man and uh, he was collecting the wood and binding them to take his house so Prahlad Maharaj saw, oh, old man is collecting wood, is alone. I have to help him. So he get down from horse, and uh, I can I help you? No, no, no. I don't need any help. I am a tapasvi. Tapasvi person should not uh, take a service from others. Tapasvi is the himself is the servant of himself. Tapasvi is the servant of himself. No need any tapas, any servant. If some tapasvi need a help of the other person, he is not tapasvi. He is all tapasvi will ruin. So I don't need help. Uh, you are king. You go your way where you are going. I no need help. No, no, no. I don't feel good. Please, I allow me. I do something help to you. I feel very bad. Then uh, this tapasvi said it. This Brahmin said it. Okay. If you want to help me, thus this log of wood is down now. You give me in my soldier. Just this is, I am happy. So Prahlad Maharaj just went to took the log of wood, and he could not. <laughs> he tried full his energy to just lift the log of wood and keep it in the Brahmin soldier. Could not do. Then uh, this tapasvi said, "O oh, Pralad Maharaj, you are not able to lift a small log of wood, and you are going to fight with Narayan." <laughs> <laughs> so Pralad Maharaj understood. Oh my, he is my lord. How he knew I am going to fight with Narayan? I did not mention these things. He surrendered to me and told, "I recognize you, my lord." Then Pralad Maharaj changed everything. Oh my God. I was going to fight with Krishna. <laughs> what happened to me? Why my mind changed? I did not know. Please, my Lord, can you tell me what happened to me? Why my mind is changed? Then he said. Then Lord said to him, due to your aparad, to Guru, you did not respect properly. You, it is not. A, it is. It was not a real aparad. It is very sukma aparad. Very subtle aparad. But it also make you problem. That's why Prahlad Maharaj. Came in the Javan Haridas body. He have to Javan. He have to be Muslim. Pralad Maharaj. As Brahma did aparad to whom? Krishna. He kept, became Muslim. Also, Pralad Maharaj did aparad to Narad Muni. That's why he has to become on the body of Haridas Thakur. In this way, so it is very. critical to know mahat purusha and very uh, 
free from Aparadha, of, of, of offenses. So, we have to be very careful with Vaishnavas, devotees, we should not criticize them. Always we see their good things and we do our bhajan. This is the best thing. Okay. In this way, to uh, Mahat Krupa, how you know so get blessing without the simplicity, whatever Guru said, avicharanya grahanya. Whatever Guru said, without hesitate, without to use mind, just if someone do the work, then we will be get blessing. Okay, anyone have any question? Yes. If you commit offense, and you beg forgiveness at the lowest feet of person you commit offense, and he forgives you, you still get a reaction? Can if someone if you make offense to someone and they forgive you, do you still the offense is gone or you still have the offense? If someone did offense to one devotee, then and the devotee forgives. forgiveness. Forgiveness finished. Yeah, finished. So Brahma is begging forgiveness from Krishna. Brahma was asking for because he did very lo very a big offense. <laughs> Brahma did, Krishna did not speak with uh, Brahma. Up to one year separation from uh, his friends. Mm -hmm. So told, no, for, you need a punishment. <laughs> I forgive, you will be forgiven by a punishment. When you free from the office like this. Okay? Any question more? Yes. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you for coming to London. The exact the kit, the Harry number is very ecstatic today. <laughs> and I hope that we can like continue. Maybe was are here to like for more Harry number would be really nice. Um, I wrote down a question that I was think just came to my mind when you were talking. I think it was so basically. Um, I, I, don't, I hope it's not so much of a stupid question, but during like Lord Ch when when Lord Chaitanya was around, there were some devotees that knew that he was God, right, Krishna. Because he revealed himself to them, but did they, did they, those devotees that knew that Lord Chaitanya was God, Krishna, did they tell everyone that, like other people, or did they keep it confidential? Chaitanya, yes, thank sense? you, I understand. Oh. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, to whom he saw his form, he told directly, if you publish this, you will die. Um. <laughs> oh, to all he said, the same thing told. If you publish, same day you will die, you will leave body. Because it is my, uh, it is my channa avatar. It is my channa avatar. Channa avatar means secret, not secret. Secret? No. Yeah. Covering, secret. Covering, covering, covering avatar. Covering avatar. Secret, ne? covering avatar. Mm -hmm. So you should not publish it. He said directly to everyone. And the second thing I wanted to ask if, is if, if you could, um, I, I know your disciple of Bhakti Vai Bhakti Maharaj and I, I don't know, for me personally, I don't know if other people know, but I don't know much about him because um, I just like haven't, I mean, you can Google and stuff, but there's like limits to what you can find online. I was wondering if you could share like um, a little bit about who he, like, who he is, how we came to Krishna, con your Guru Maharaj came to Krishna consciousness, how we met uh, Bhakti Siddhanta and how you met him. Would be nice. Yes, I already de described this to uh, anyone, to maybe did court or something. In some places, uh, he was uh, because he not di make directly. First, he listened some harikatha from one person about Prabhupada, and then he came to Mayapur. He was from Odisha. He came to Nadia Navadip, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and took initiation and returned to home. Uh, and then, after Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, eh, sorry, Prabhupada disappeared, then he again feel not good in a house family, eh, house life. So he came again, join in the. Uh, temple life after Prabhupada disappeared and uh, he has many stories about this but we have not so much time to tell about this already we discussed oh, this thing. Okay. and he is a really very strong devotee he is like a lion he never tolerated what if in a meeting also in Prabhupada meeting also if someone tells something like a non-philosophical topic immediately he will take the mouth and the <laughs> chest <tie. laughs> is like this. So many divorces they don't like and very afraid to him. <laughs> when he was Arisa, he was from Arisa. Arisa. He was Polisha. Oh. Also, he, in 1990, once he came to London. Oh. Yes. Yes. I always wondered a little bit about who Narayan Rishi is. 
to be explained. Okay, thank you. I, we see a picture in the front of <laughs> some book. Two okay, I will, I will tell very shortly, yeah. so you have to catch this thing. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, we are human beings. Always, if some, someone gives some advice to us, we, see, we will see what he is doing. <laughs> Understand? Mm -hmm. If I tell you, you don't smoke, please. You will check me, I am smoking or not smoking. <laughs> you are smoking, why are you telling me? <laughs> like this. So, Krishna, in different incarnation, mm -hmm. he taught everyone the renounced life is good. One should be a sannyasi life is the best one life. So everyone have to renounce. So like the family life is at too much attachment, too much suffering. So everyone so some of them, like you, will, some of us, we complain to God. Oh, always Lakshmi is messaging you. You are enjoying and you are telling us to renounce. Why? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> so, <laughs> so Krishna said, I have to penance, otherwise I cannot teach these things. So he Narana in in the he became Narana Rana, and till now to teach others, he is penancing in Padina. It is one point. There is other point also. At that same, because when Krishna appears, different religions are there. Another region also there. At that time, there was a demon. There was a demon. He became so powerful by worshipping sun god. And sun god gave him uh, like one uh, blessing. No one can kill you. But who will do thousand years penance he can destroy your one kavacho and I am giving you thousand kavacho. Understand kavacho? Mm -hmm. Shield. Shield armor. Uh, one dress like this. Protective armor. You, you protective uh, dress. Armor. Uh, armor. So you can, also, no one can kill you. To destroy your one kavacho need a person should do thousand years penance. Who Completed thousand years penance, he can destroy your one kavacha. Cannot kill also. Like his name is Sahasra Kavacha Dhari Demon. Sahasra Kavacha Sura. So now the Narayana said, if I will go to for penance one, it is now will be difficult. So I became a two now. Nara and Narayana. So one is the first the penance two person for thousand years to kill to death, to kill this demon. Nara and Naran started to penance for thousand years. Then Nara fight with the Kavacha and he just because already completed a thousand years, so he destroyed one Kavacha. Then he started to penance, Naran started to fight. Mm. After thousand years they fight and then one destroy like this. So like this, 999. Kavacha destroyed. Who? Nara and Narayana together fighting with the Sahasra Kavacha. Sahasra means thousand. Sahasra Kavacha. So he was one Kavacha, he ran away. <laughs> he ran away and he surrendered to Sun God. He surrendered to Sun God. Please help, help me. So now Nara Narayana left him. Huh? He, because he afraid and run away, leave him. Someone is going, coming fighting, is, you can is, yeah, enjoy to fighting. Is there someone afraid in running but to kill this person? No enjoy. So they left. This Sahasra Kavacha was with Surya, the Sun God. Kunti, when he prayed a son from Sun God, Sun God gave that person, that, that Sahasra Kavacha to Kunti as a son. That's why when he born, he has one Kavacha. Wow. And Nara is the Arjuna. And Krishna is the Narayana. Together they killed this mm. karma. Oh, wow. Understand? This is the point of incarnation of Narayana. Okay, any more questions? Mm. Okay. 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 Thank you so much. I, whatever I spoke, this blessing of a Guru and Vaishnavas and the Maharaj, what they are inspiring. Because we are like a uh, parrot. If we, we cannot tell anything. What is they 
come to they were inspired to speak you can go on that way you cannot speak anything if you want to speak something you will tell something here there mm-hmm. just whatever we listen from guru and vaishnavas that we have to speak only we should not use our mind that is the point thank you so much for all london devotees and uh, you are listening so nicely and also did harinam sankirtan very interestingly <laughs> <laughs> i was really enjoyed it too much because i'm a four murdanga player four murdanga player means i get like more energy like you know to do sankirtan i i, I don't want to stop the sankirtan also but you know all, all the time we have to see that time we have to go in time so we have to also now stop all our hungry they did sankirtan and maybe if i have something hearted you someone maybe by your good uh, quality excuse me hari krishna hari krishna ah yes good yes okay hari krishna हर कृष्णा हर कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे
someone says if you chant krishna name you will get liberated but haridas thakur says no 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 it is not fruit of krishna name haridas kahe no namer phalo ei dui nay haridas kahe namer phalo ei dui nay namar phale krishna pede krishna pode prema upajay namer phale krishna pode prema upajay haridas no 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 it is not the mean it is not the real the meaning of uh, the benefit of chanting namer phale krishna pade prem upajay if someone chant krishna nay the love will increase on the lotus feet of uh, sri krishna hare krishna hare krishna Thank you. 